word closure, but it's definitely a resolution to where this child is. It's a deepening mystery has a Texas family reeling and begging for answers. Where is Shonda Townsend? The 19-year-old mom vanished nine long months ago, and the trail appears to have gone cold. Her heartbroken family members are my very special guest tonight. Police suspect foul play. Could Shonda have become a victim in the escalating war on women? Look at this beautiful young lady. She was at a friend's house for the 4th of July holiday. She texted her mom that she was on her way home. That was the last anybody heard from her. Tonight, in a very disturbing twist, investigators say they want to ask this man, Jeffrey Maxwell, if he knows anything about Shonda's disappearance. Maxwell is in jail tonight, accused of raping and torturing a 62-year-old woman for 13 days. He is also being investigated in the disappearance of two other women, including his ex-wife. Now, cops point out this sicko lived just a few miles from Shonda. Could he be involved? Cops say they're investigating the possibility, but her family does not think so. Why not? A straight out to Carolyn and Lena Riddenberry. Uh, Shonda's mother and sister-in-law. First of all, I want to thank you both so much for coming on our show. And we cannot begin to imagine how hard the last nine months have been for you. We want to help find out what happened to your loved one. Uh, first of all, uh, let me start with uh, Carolyn, Shonda Townsend's mother. What have the last nine months been like for you, Carolyn? It's been very hard very hard now uh, law enforcement says and and let me go to lena for a second i see you're closing your eyes and i know that somebody often will do that when they're going through something unimaginable uh can you tell us what's in your heart right now lena um it's, it's like my mother-in-law said it's very hard i just believe that there's a lot more out there that somebody knows and they're just not willing to open up and let it out and i just think that they it it needs to be it needs to be opened up and people need to talk well why do you think that this jeffrey maxwell uh is not involved when law enforcement says they want to investigate now uh this maxwell uh is accused of uh, abducting and raping a former neighbor, holding her hostage, and just terrible, terrible, vicious violation over the course of 13 days, along with burning down her house. And he's also uh, being investigated for the disappearance and presumed murder of his wife and the disappearance of another woman who lived in the area. Your daughter once lived reportedly within five miles of this creep. Uh, that's why cops are looking into him. What, what are your thoughts on any possible connection? I, I don't think that he's, I, I don't think that he, he acts alone to me. It, it's, he's, he's an alone person. And Shonda's car would have had to have got back to Mineral Wells where it was located on the 6th of July. And then that would have had to make him all the way back to Wit, where, um, the last place that, the phone pinged off of. All so right, so it, it's just kind of a hard scenario to think that. All right, well, let's give our viewers a little context here. Shonda spent the 4th of July with friends in Mineral Wells, Texas. Now, they left the home that evening and texted her mom that she was on her way home. Here is one of the investigators. She returned back to Mineral Wells between 9 and 10. Uh, at a friend's house here in Mineral Wells, and then at 11.50 p.m., we have the video footage of her being at a Easy Mart in town, and that's the last known time that we know that she was in Mineral Wells, other than cell phone record. All right, we heard other than cell phone records. What do her cell phone records show? Uh, we, the, From what I can tell, um, it's 4th of July, she's with a friend, uh, Shortly after midnight, she texts you and says, hey, mom, I'm coming home, and she disappears, and then her car is found, and the stereo is ripped out, and it looks like 
with the doors open, somebody's been in there. Um, what do you know about the situation? Have, have, have you gotten any cell phone pings? A cop told you about cell phone pings. What information do you have about uh, where your daughter's car was found? I really don't have anything. I mean, they don't tell me a lot. And I, I have one ping off of the uh, uh, Pedenville, Salesville Tower. And that's towards our house. It's about 15 miles from our house. There was a ping off of a tower. Okay, that give, was us, an outgoing text. give us an idea here of how far away your daughter was when she was at this party. How far away from your home? And then where her car was found. How far away from your home? 25 miles from my house is where the party was at, the house she left. And then uh, from that house, it's six miles, uh, city blocks, to where the car was found. All right, now police noticed Shonda's car parked in a residential area before she was even reported missing. Her 1997 gray Toyota Camry resembles the one we're going to show you here in a second. Police say they found it with the passenger door and trunk open and the stereo missing. Listen to this. She never made it home. Subsequently, investigators found her abandoned vehicle next to a crack house with the stereo ripped out of it. The car essentially gutted. Investigators have been scouring the area ever since, but Nancy, they found no trace of this beautiful teenage mother. I, I want to mention that your family is hosting a benefit concert for um, Shonda, the missing woman's adorable little boy, Hayden. The event is called Hope for Hayden. It's April 9th at the Sheriff's Complex there in Mineral Wells, Texas. And if you want to make a donation, you can send it to the Shonda Townsend Fund, P.O. Box 1154, Mineral Wells, Texas, 76068. Uh, Carolyn, uh, last question. How is this little boy a fairing? What do you tell Shonda's two-year-old son, Hayden, when he says, where's mommy? I tell him that we don't really know where she is. She's just missing. Someone got her. And he prays and he asks God to bring his mommy home. Well, uh, I have to say that my heart goes out to the two of you. Are police giving you the kind of information you need? Are they? It's been nine months. Are, are you getting the kind of updates that, that make you feel that they're doing everything they can? No. No. Well... What would you say to the, why do you, do you call law enforcement? Yes. And what do they tell you? Most of the time, uh, I, oh, I'll have to go to someone else and get that information and I'll call you back. Sometimes I get a call back, but not very often. Did your daughter have a boyfriend? Who is the child's father? Have they eliminated those people? Yes. The child's father's in, um, uh, uh, the, um, uh, Correctional aid um, prison. CCA. CCA. Was he in prison, prison when exactly. she went? Was she? Was he in prison when she went missing? Yes, he was. So he can't. He can't be involved. Did she have a boyfriend? Quickly. No, he had a girlfriend though. That that her and this girl really had a lot of trouble between each other all the time. Hmm. Interesting. So, would you like police to investigate that further? Yes. <laughs> okay, but have they done it? No. All right. Not that uh, we know of. Not that we know of. Hang tight. We're going to take your calls on this. 1-877-JVM says, and we're also going to talk to experts on the other side of the break. HLN law enforcement analyst Mike Flynn.